Tonight, state leaders met with parents of Orange Grove workers to discuss the fate of the center. It helps and employs adults with disabilities. A new state guideline threatens to integrate those workers into typical work environments. Brittany Nicholson joins us now live with what happened tonight. Brittany. Josh, parents did get some answers tonight, but not before it got heated here at the Orange Grove Center. And many say they're still confused about what some of these changes could mean. He enjoys his bus ride to school. He enjoys being with his friends in his classroom. And to take that away from my son is wrong. Just because my son cannot work a job doesn't mean you're going to take him out of this school. My son will pass away and you will be responsible. Hundreds packed into the Orange Grove cafeteria to ask the state why new guidelines could prevent adults with disabilities from continuing their jobs here. State officials explain all facility-based day programs are now required to comply with federal Medicare and Medicaid guidelines, or they will have to close. They say Orange Grove has three years to make changes. The state is not going to take the position of shutting down a facility-based day program that cooperates with coming into compliance with the federal rules. Officials explain Orange Grove and other facilities across the state have to open up to a broader community so people of all ages with disabilities will be able to spend time with those who don't have disabilities. Many parents fear that can mean their children have to work in a typical work environment where others don't understand their disability. Orange Grove Executive Director Kyle Hoth explained they're willing to do whatever it takes to make any changes easy on students here. Orange Grove is going to continue to serve your sons and your daughters, and we are going, yes. And we are going to find a way to be able to comport with rules, whether they be federal or state. Last week, we spoke with employers around town who say they're more than willing to hire adults with disabilities. Some parents say that they would like to have the option to choose if their children could work somewhere like here or somewhere else. Reporting live from the Orange Grove Center, Brittany Nicholson, News Channel 9. Brittany, thank you. The Tennessee Department of Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities serves about 8,000 people with disabilities across the state.